Tony, a great way to start off the new year, final eliminator for the WBC title. How much do you know about your opponent? He's a good fighter, he's a world-class opponent. Uh, you don't get WBC final eliminators for nothing. Isaac Chalem was probably the most rounded fighter I've fought in the game. Good defence, good speed, reasonable power, good movements. He's the full package, he gets off the floor to win. He's a good, good fighter, so it's going to take an awful lot of hard work over these next 12 weeks to get in the shape to beat him. But I believe I'll do it, so, you know, I'm nearly there now. And the carrot at the end of the stick is a potential Dawson or Pascal fight. I know I've speaking, spoken to you before, you rate uh, Dawson quite a lot, but that's a tricky fight for him. Oh, listen, it's a, it's a hard fight for him, a tough fight. Pascal's coming back from a shoulder injury, so I'm not sure the fight's going to happen. He dislocated his shoulder. Uh, so, you know, it's, 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 it's a good fight, but, you know, I believe Dawson's the best light ever in the world. I really do, and he's shown on numerous occasions. He's defeated the Tarvers, he's defeated the Hopkins, the Glenn Johnsons. I believe he would have defeated Pascal had have carried on. He's the best fighter in the world, mate, but I'm willing to go in with him and face him because I believe I can do certain things in a fight that make him uncomfortable and that can take him out of his rhythm and his game plan. So it's all about March the 30th now. It's about beating Isaac Chalemba, final eliminator for the WBC and getting the job done. Do you think if you beat Chalemba, and hopefully you do, do you think it's a big step up between him and Dawson and is that something that maybe concerns you slightly? You know, listen, they both pose different threats. If you look at me last four or five fights, I've fought guys who all pose different threats. I've had a serious puncher in one, someone with serious speed in another, someone who's very tricky, an angle fighter. Then I've faced a big power again in Miranda. Then I faced, you know, like a defensive kind of wizard in Balanti. He didn't want to come near me because he felt what I had. And now this time I'm facing a good, good all-round boxer. So I've faced different styles. I've, you know, they've been varied styles, but I've came through and... I've always found a way, so I've got to do it again, mate, on March the 30th. And as for Dawson, I I'll bring something he ain't seen before, too. In 12 months' time, hopefully, maybe you've beaten Dawson, you've got the WBC title outright. Nathan Cleverly, chance for a unification, or are you not even thinking about that at the moment? I don't give him a thought, to be honest. I don't give him a thought. My time with thinking and talking about him is done, so, you know, I don't give it a thought.